Hi, I'm Sharla from Freezer Meals 101. Welcome to another edition of What's for Dinner, where I show you how I take some of our freezer meals and transform them into our family's weeknight suppers. Christy and I recently did a huge freezer meal marathon where we made 136 freezer meals, which was awesome because <laughs> It makes me happy to go and open my freezer and be able to choose what we're gonna have for dinner that day. It makes life so much easier and I love having all that variety. And we tried a ton of new meals this time. So I'm trying to balance like the tried and true, which I know our family will love with trying some of those new ones, which is always really exciting. So. This week, we did try some of the new ones, and then again, we had some of our tried and true just to balance things out and make sure that I knew some days that we were having something that the kids would enjoy and that wasn't taking a risk at all. One of the new meals we tried was the Italian sausage bow tie pasta, which is one of the ones that I had made the week before our marathon with all of that ground sausage that we had bought for the freezer meal marathon. And that recipe turned out to be so good. Christy and her family had tried it before I did, so I had heard good reports from her, but it was really, really delicious. Um, it's just, and I had cooked the pasta already, so everything was 100% done. I just thawed it, put it into a casserole dish, put it in the oven, covered. And when it was ready, it was pretty much a complete meal because you had your pasta, your sausage, your spinach, your tomatoes, so you have, you know, some of that protein, your carbs, your vegetables, and we just topped it with some red pepper flakes and parmesan. It's completely delicious, and I have to say that our family ate the entire, entire thing, and there wasn't even enough left for like one bite of leftovers. So that's always a good sign too. The next of the new meals that we tried was a sheet pan sausage, sweet potato, and pepper meal. I've started to really get into the sheet pan dinners lately. It just makes cooking such a breeze because you can dump everything from the freezer bag straight onto your cookie sheet, put it in the oven, and when it comes out, your entire meal is done. You don't have a lot of dishes to clean. It's just that easy. Now with this one, it was a new recipe and I wasn't entirely sure when we made it if it would have enough flavor because we didn't add any seasonings to it. So I was kind of unsure if it was going to pack a good enough punch for our family. But the um, garlic sausage, once it cooked, the flavor of that actually went throughout all of the vegetables and everything that were on the tray. So those sweet potatoes tasted delicious, as did like the onions and the peppers and all of that. So this one was super easy to throw together and is definitely one that we will make again because our family thoroughly enjoyed it and I enjoyed not having very many dishes to do. <laughs> we also did the shrimp stir fry pack and just served that on rice. That one is so fast because you have everything already in the freezer bag, your shrimp and tons and tons and tons of vegetables. It's so colorful, which to me means that it's healthy. So I feel really good about feeding it to my family. And then all I did was cook up some white rice on the side and then we could serve it on top of the white rice. If you wanted to, you could add some sesame seeds or some sliced green onions that are fresh, but we just served it as it was and it was absolutely delicious and seriously cooked up within a matter of minutes. So that one was great for a busy week. This week we also had another meal that was from those ground sausage meals and that was the sausage stuffed shells. Completely delicious, we've had it before, I knew it was a winner. I love that everything is already just in the tray. I can pop it in the oven once it's thawed. You can cook it from frozen, you just have to cook it for longer. So this has got the sausage, tomato sauce, and then it's also got all this richness in it because it's got cottage cheese and cream cheese and matzah, so it's really cheesy. 
full of goodness. We topped ours with red pepper flakes and served it with a salad on the side. Very, very easy meal again. Now, gonna be honest with you and tell you that I have no video of this next meal because uh, I was at the surgeon with one of our daughters doing a pre-surgery consult and it was a really long day. It ended up taking much longer than I thought. I was driving through rush hour traffic. So I called my husband and asked him if he would be willing to just put the water on to boil for the pasta. The freezer meal was already taken out and thawing. And I told him that that was what we were gonna serve on the pasta. And I have a really sweet husband. So by the time I got home, he had gone ahead and put the entire meal together. So he had um, cooked the penne in you know, the pot of water and he had also gone ahead and heated up the buffalo chicken mixture saucy thing in the skillet and thrown those together and half of my kids had already eaten by the time I got home. It was super nice not to have to worry about dinner that night at all. But because of that, <laughs> I don't have any video to show you guys. I'll just have to tell you that it tasted really good. Now, I do like to give you real. So I will say that some of us loved it and some of us thought that it tasted a little bit too much like the buffalo chicken dip. And so some of my kids ended up just taking what was left from that sauce mixture and dipping tortilla chips in it and eating it that way and they preferred it that way and they said you know mom if you're gonna make this like we love the buffalo chicken dip and why mess with a good thing so i can kind of see where they're coming from it's very similar it doesn't have the crunch that the buffalo chicken dip does and it also has that blue cheese dressing in there which i think gives it a bit of a different flavor but according to some of my kids, it's better as a dip. So <laughs> that is my full disclosure, full, you know, there you go, you have it all now. The other thing that I will show you from this week was a weekend dish. We were hosting our supper club, which is a group of three other couples, including Christy and her husband. We take turns hosting, so this was our turn. And actually, you know, we haven't had many turns given the pandemic and everything. We always have to follow the regulations, so it doesn't always work to host it. And so we've it's been months and months and months since we've all gotten together. But this was really nice because we were able to see everyone again, just have a really nice evening. Because it was our turn to host, it was a lot of fun. My husband and I went to the Italian center shopping that day and got really um, fresh groceries and produce and all of that. And uh, we did an Italian theme. So uh, I'm just gonna show you some pictures of the um, Italian antipasto platter that I made. And I had that with Christini. And um, I also did a salad and some amuse-bouche, just fancy way of saying like bite-sized appetizer. Um, and that was all really fun to put together for our main course. I did not get a picture of it, but it was the pasta puttanesca and I've got a video of how to make the sauce for that as a freezer meal. We've done that as a freezer meal quite a few times. Really, really delicious flavors. It's different than your regular pasta sauces because it's got anchovy paste in there and capers and black olives. So very different tasting than like your average spaghetti sauce, but it does freeze well, just the sauce on its own. This time, of course, I didn't use it from a freezer meal because we were tripling it, which ended up being way too much. But anyway, um, we overcooked the noodles too, full disclosure on that. Um, so it was kind of a gummy mess, but the taste was still there. All the flavors were good. And of course, we still had a great visit and so much fun. So that's one way that we could have incorporated freezer meals into our supper club. But in this case, we just took something we had previously made as a freezer meal and used that recipe. Thank you so much for joining me today on another edition of What's for Dinner. If you haven't already, hit that little subscribe button so that you can get all the latest in the freezer meal world. Happy cooking, guys.